When I receive a PDF to proofread or copy edit, what I'm being asked to do is mark up changes on the file so that the designer can input them in their source file, such as InDesign or so forth. We're going to do a quick demo, speed you through the tools that you can find in the free Acrobat Reader. We like Acrobat Reader, this is version DC, because it is easy, compatible with all systems, and free. The first thing to note is the tools on the right hand side here. Yours may look a little different uh, because they're kind of customized based on your use. What we're looking for is not edit PDF, which will actually change the contents, but comment where we're going to mark up the changes. As you can see across the top, I now have a toolbar of tools that I can use to make change, mark up changes on this PDF. If you're familiar with the proofreader's marks, you can simply use this drawing tool, the pencil tool, and click and drag to make your marks. If you don't like the way that they turned out, you can delete them. You can right click on it and click delete and you can redraw. You can change the properties of these marks right up here on the toolbar, clicking blue or whatever is your preferred color. That would let you also color code them for different users. You can change the thickness. So that means that your marks will always be visible on the page because you can alter them depending on your background. Another handy tool is the shapes up here on the toolbar. Arrow, obviously useful. Line tool, useful for marking italics and so forth. If you click and drag, it will make a straight line. Now you can see that's not exactly um, horizontal. And if you're a stickler for that kind of thing, I'll show you an easy way to do it. If you hold down shift and then click and drag, it will do exactly horizontal or 45 degrees or vertical. To set the line, simply let go of the cursor, or of your mouse, I mean. Another handy thing is you can move these symbols. So, for example, I'm going to right click and select the hand tool. I click on any mark, and then when I get the four-way arrows, I can move the item or resize it. You can even copy and paste, so you could draw something once and then reuse it again and again. Another tool in this drawing set I use a lot is the text callout. I would use that for notes to production. I'm just going to write some gibberish there. And just like the other properties you can change, sorry, the properties of lines, you can change the properties of boxes so that they stand out on the page in whatever format you like. I believe this will let you change the colors of the box outline. So we can see I have a border color here. Simply click on it. I'm going to click um, simple colors so I could change that. All right, so you have a pencil tool, a number of shapes. For example, if we wanted this to be Roman, that's a traditional mark for marking text to be set in Roman. Another handy tool is the annotation tools, and that is this group of T's up here on the left. These work somewhat like the track changes in Word. So for example, if I click on strike out, I can strike out words, or I can click on the insert and then place the cursor wherever I like, and then start typing, and we can see that my text to insert is ending up here on the right in a comments list. That text will also show up if you hover over the mark. We can use the underline to make really nice underlines that are perfectly under the words we want. And if I click back to the select tool, I can see that I can click on it and also change properties. One of the handier features is the select tool. I'm going to right click 
And from this menu, choose Select Tool. And that turns my pointer into a cursor whenever I'm over words that can be edited. So for instance, I can place my cursor there on the headline and then I can use my keyboard to arrow down to where I want to make changes and simply type those changes in. I do then have to click post in this most recent update, but I could then continue making my changes and they're automatically entered. Uh, continuing with this, I have the flashing cursor on that fourth dot now. I could, oh, I just hit home. <laughs> I can hold shift and the arrow key to highlight words and then press delete to have them struck out. Or I could highlight a word and then simply type over it to have it struck out and an insert put in all at once. And just like with any mark, these are listed over on the right in the comments list. You can also reply to these or edit in these boxes. If you double click on the box, then you could add more text, copy, paste, anything like that. The trick is to ask what the preference is. Within one publishing house, for example, we can have a team that insists on using the annotation or text markup tools these T's on the left, while another team in the same department insists on using pencil and shapes in a traditional markup way. So just ask what their preference is. Either way, they can use this comment list to navigate the changes and as quality control as a checklist to make sure they've done all, that cha all their changes. And we'll talk about that in another demo. For more productivity tips like this and for quality assurance measures, see my lessons at catchthesun.net. In the next video, we'll talk about troubleshooting, things that often go wrong with a PDF.